How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. <sighs> Big beer time. In the form of Microphone Brewing, it's their Imperial Smells Like Bean Spirit Vanilla Edition. Um, this beer comes courtesy of Chuck. Thank you very much, brother. He sent me off a bonkers box of Chicago Beast fucking deliciousness. More times than not, I say hopeful deliciousness. But I think this is the fourth or fifth one I'm diving into. And, uh, yeah, each one has been fantastic, so this has got to be fucking good. Bangers. He said all the bangers, baby. What does it say on this label? Imperial smells like bean spirit vanilla. Tugboat coffee. Breakfast out with Vermont maple syrup. Yes. Uh, tugboat coffee roasters. Yes. Uh, Sumatra mandolin blend. Sure. And vanilla. Yeah. Um, microphone Brewing, Illinois. Come visit us. Label art by Nick Seguera and Alyssa Cornette. 10.5% alcohol by volume. Label art is, you know, it's all right. I don't know, something creepy about little bean guy. He's got a little wiener, a little dingling kind of floating around down there. Play off the whole, it smells like Teen Spirit from Nirvana, which is pretty much what I grew up on music-wise. So, something about it irks me. It's the coffee bean dude. I don't know, something about it. It bothers me. So we're talking about vanilla. We're talking about maple syrup. Oh, yeah. We're talking about motor oil. That's where that's, that looks like, uh, yeah, it definitely looks more like 10W40, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, that's dark. That, you should never have given that beer money. And fuck its couch up. That's how dark it is. Yeah, that's, damn, dude. Even that head. It's darker than I like my coffee to look. Let's put it that way. When she just looks like the most stouty McStoutiness of all the stouts. You get that blue blocker effect. People are like, what the fuck are you talking about? Blue blockers, man. Go on the fucking internet right now. Well, you're on the internet. Go to YouTube. Oh, shit, you're on YouTube, too. Um, pause this video, and then just type in blue blocker commercial. And then find the one from, like, the 90s, where the dude's rapping about these shitty glasses you would buy on TV. Then you know what I'm talking about when it comes to blue blockers. So, yeah, I mean... It looks like a big, cute stout man. It's staining the glass. It's still clinging on there. Jesus Christ. Nose. Oh, coffee. See, the maple uh, The maple comes through. So the coffee leads the way. Followed closely by the maple. Then it's followed by the beer. Then it's followed by the vanilla. At least for me. And, and the coffee comes off nice. It's a nice, big, hefty, roasted kind of coffee. But there's a soft greenness to it. So it's like one of those kind of fleshy, grainy, new kind of coffees going on. And uh, the vanilla um, acts as almost like a soft sweetener that you would add, add to a coffee. Not necessarily like an over-the-top kind of vanilla. At least in the nose. But the maple syrup leads the way. Um, but there's still a beer in there. It doesn't come off just, just adjunct. You get those roasted malts. You get that malt sweetness, too. This is going to be sweet, though. I'm going to take a couple breaths before I sip this. Do a prayer and stuff? I don't know. I got a burp, actually. That's the whole thing. <clears throat> there you go. Cheers. It's a weird beer. It's a good beer. Rewind. It's a good beer for what kind of beer it wants to be. It's very, very sweet. But it drinks a little bit less sweet than it actually is. And let me kind of explain that. The, van uh, the vanilla, the beer, the maple syrup all come off very, very, very sweet. Um, but... That coffee and that roasted malt, there's a hefty dose of bittering from those roasted malts and from that coffee. It helps rein in some of that sweetness to where it, 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 it's, it's, it's relatively, that's the word I'm dealing with here, the word relatively, because it is sweet, relatively manageable. It's a very, very sweet beer. This is a share beer. This is about, this is more than I would probably like in a sitting, but this is the proper amount it should be served at. It's not a matter of like, oh, 
oh, this is this beer. I just can't drink any more of it. No, it, uh, this beer is not meant to be drank more than this. I don't think. I mean, listen, you do you. As long as you're not hurting puppies and hurting babies, fucking have at it. You know what I mean? Do whatever you want. If you're not fucking with other people's lives, drink these to your head. Bang them, dome them, boof them for all I want. You know, have fun. I don't. Some people like cucumbers pickled. Whatever you do behind your closed doors to yourself and with your friends is all about you. But I don't think this is something that people should be drinking to their dome by themselves on a regular basis. Nor do I think that's a brewer's intention. So let's get back to the beer review. Um, yeah, it's sweet. The maple syrup is still the start of the show. The coffee comes in a very close second, and it's super rich, super robust. This is the kind of coffee I like. I'm a, I'm a bastard when it comes to coffee. I put milk and sugar in my coffee. I'm that asshole. Doesn't drink it right. But this is, I like my coffee dark. I like dark roasted coffee. I like rich. Like when someone's like, oh, I got dark roast and they make it. And I'm like, you know, you don't. You just don't. Sorry, you don't have it. This is the kind of coffee that I would dig. Cause I, this is so rich and so intense and so dense. That it's just it just adds so much kind of, it's almost like an, crazy over-the-top barrel char. That, it doesn't taste like that, but that's how it comes off. Have you ever had a really big um, barrel-aged beer that the barrel is super aggressive? In a fun way. There's bad ways that happen. Same thing with coffee, but this is a fun way. The vanilla acts as that kind of soft sweetener that I dig in coffee, so it works for me. And the beer's still there. It's got a nice big roasted malt component that is bittering that you need to kind of balance, at least help balance off some of that sweetness. This is a fun beer. Mouth feels fucking delicious. It drinks a little bit bigger than the beer. Eh, maybe about, because it's 10.5. I would say blind. I would assume this is probably closer to 13 to 14%. So it probably drinks a little smaller than the beer actually is. Yeah. It's it, it's impactful, man. This is this is hair on fire. This is not tiptoeing through the tulip shit here. This is just fucking hair on fire fucking craziness. Where are we at? Illinois, we're still in Chicago. I was fucking Walter Payton. You know what I mean? It's that shit. No, no, this is Refrigerator Perry. This is what this is. This is not Walter Payton because there's no subtlety to this. This isn't dancing on the edges when it wants to or being the sweetness. This is brute strength. This is just fucking pounding ground. Fucking craziness. It's Dick Buckus fighting fucking Refrigerator Perry. Why am I talking about fucking... What? Anyway. This happens sometimes. You just gotta deal with it. Um, yeah, I, it's fantastic. It's fantastic in a way, man, this is going to be a long review. I think this is just as fantastic as a very subtle, very nuanced, very multi-layered, gentle saison in two distinct different ways, but equally as fantastic. It, it, you don't have to be just in one of those camps. And this is fantastic in the same way a roller coaster or super hot hot wings or you know hate sex is fantastic you know what i mean like it those things are good and by hate sex i'm not it's not violence sometimes you just have fucking crazy hate sex and it's fun if you don't know what that is i'm sorry that you don't know um uh, <laughs> and uh those things are good things um just equally as good as you know soft gentle music and then you know what i mean really nuanced food and love making and uh and neither is neither less or more than each other it's just different and um and while it's crazy maple syrup coffee to the max i like it so let's talk about it um is it one of the better uh Adjuncty pastry stouts. That's what it is. That I've had as of late, yeah. Actually, very close to the top. Uh, I dig it. I think it's fun. Again, this is about as much as I want. Um, but it's fun as fuck. Value and availability, no idea. This came in a crazy box from Chuck. Thank you very much again, Chuck. Um, he sent me all kinds of bonker shit, so who knows? This is wait in line for five hours and give him 30 bucks kind of shit, probably. And leave you with, if you like what, will you like this beer? If you like hot, hot, hot wings and roller coasters and hate sex, then this will do you proper because this is living on the edge. This is, you know, music cranked to 11. This is that fun kind of on the edge kind of stuff. It's not going to be confused with something soft and nuanced, nor should it be. 
and when you go into these beers, I keep saying it's very, very sweet. I'm not saying it's too sweet. There's a difference. There's some beers that are too sweet. This beer is just as sweet as it should be, which is borderline too sweet, but it's a fucking 11% pastry shot with all kinds of bonker shit going on. It's supposed to be this sweet. So if you like these big, huge balls of the wall, 2 by 4 the face of adjunct, crazy, huge Tampa, Florida bonker stouts, this is up there. There you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a big, huge, gigantor stout right now. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.